According to guidelines released by the CDC last year, children are not getting the recommended amount of vegetables. But fortunately, our next guest has time-saving tips to help busy parents sneak more veggies onto their kids' plates. You may know her best as the head judge on the Food Network's Iron Chef America and next Iron Chef, celebrity chef and mom, Donatella Arpaia, joins us to share a few tricks and tips this morning. Donatella, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Tina. Great to be here. Now, of course, we would all like to say we are an iron chef and we, we do those great things, but probably reality is we do need a couple of simple tricks and tips to help us along the way. We do. And you know, your children need, need to get enough vegetables. It's become an epidemic in this country. We really need to do something about it. And I have a three and a half year old son and I myself struggle and I'm a busy mom. As much as I'm a Judge and Iron Chef America, when I have a long day of filming, I have to come home and get a meal on the table for my son, and I just don't want him to dictate that because he'll be eating ice cream sandwiches for dinner, literally. So one of the things I like to do is to be a little sneaky. I like to incorporate vegetables into meals that he loves already. I'm gonna demo one today. Um, he loves mac and cheese. This is like an Iron Chef version, but so simple. It's ricotta cheese with little ears pasta. I use a little hot water that I'm boiling for the sauce, some Parmesan cheese, some fresh mint. I think f herbs are something that we don't use enough of and I like to get my son used to different herbs. You have to get your kid, you have to make them try everything no matter how much they protest. Some lemon zest, and now for adding the vegetables, my son wouldn't eat peas. The first time I made this, he refused them. And then I incorporated it into scrambled eggs and then he ate them. Peas, and these are already cooked. Um, and all you have to do is stir this up. And for me, the best time-saving tip that I have is I found an incredible product. I love working with Libby's because they created veggies in a cup. I mean, this is genius. We've all seen fruit in a cup. But veggies in a cup, this makes vegetables portable, on the go. You can put them in their lunch boxes. You can pack them for picnics. You can take them on long rides. If you have kids skiing, you can take them everywhere. They're easy. They're fun. They're amazing. It changed my life. My kid eats vegetables now. It's crazy. I'm just stirring as I'm talking here. You could do this, right, Tina? You oh, saw yeah. me do it live. Oh, well, we just did it right now in a couple of minutes that, you know, was easy to put together. And I love what we're talking about, kind of sneaking it in, like you said, in the eggs or in some pasta or something, as long as they're still getting those nutrients. It's true. And, you know, I think parents don't think about putting vegetables into their breakfast, but it's so easy to do. I, I mean, all most kids love eggs, so you can put so many vegetables in there. You can put carrots. You can put asparagus, you can put corn, you can put green beans. Um, and even if your kid doesn't like the vegetable one week, try it again the next week. A lot of times distract them a little bit. I hate to say put him on his iPad or a movie, but a lot of times if he gets focused on a movie, I can get him to eat his vegetables. And then he eats them and he says, I don't like peas. I'm like, of course you like them. You ate them already. See? And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. He's like, well, I gotcha. Wasn't that bad? And I know, Donatelle, we're making this recipe right now, but when it comes to maybe doing packaged foods, maybe parents think that they're not getting, you know, what they really need for their kids, but it's just maybe about reading the labels and knowing what you're looking for. It's so true. You know, as a, as a chef, I never thought I would use a lot of packaged foods. As a mom, I find them indispensable, especially if you find good quality ones with brand, brand names that you trust. Libby's, the simple rule is turn the package over and read the nutritional label. This is corn, and guess what? The ingredients are water, corn, and sea salt. There are no, in, less is more when you look for ingredients, and there's no ingredients that I can't pronounce. If you can't pronounce them, I would stay away from them. Um, so that's really, really important. Read the labels, and if you do, and you trust the product, then this becomes such a go-to option. Because I think parents struggle every day with, what do I pack my kids for lunch? And you feel guilty. I mean, how many times do you pack a kid lunch? Is, are there vegetables? Because you have to pre-cut them, put them in the Ziploc bags. A lot of times you don't have them or have they gone bad. If you have these veggie cups, they're automatic, they're fun. And I find that because they come in these cups, kids think they're kind of bad. 
bad yeah, for you. Exactly. <laughs> so I put them in the snack drawer. I've taken away the cookies. Well, they come in containers that kids understand. You know, they think like sweet things come in here. And actually, <laughs> corn is sweet, naturally sweet. Well, coming so it's really important. Coming and I've made a lot of recipe using vegetables, everyday vegetables that we love. I have a creamy corn chowder, a seven layer dip, you know, with game days now. It's, you eat such bad food on game days. This is a healthy, all veggie, seven layer dip, a green bean and corn um, and carrot salad. And you can find all these recipes getbacktothetable.com. I promise you don't have to be an Iron Chef to get your kid to eat vegetables and to do it on time if you're a busy working mom. Well, coming straight from a mom and a chef, uh, I love that you're giving us the thumbs up on all of these. So Donatella, I want to thank you so much. We'll be looking forward to see you, seeing you on the Iron Chef and see what the season has to bring. Oh, a lot of good stuff. We can't. Just watch. And watch with your kids. Get them watching food TV and cooking with them. It's going to get them into trying new things. And that's definitely what we're looking for. Donatella, thank you again for joining us this morning. Thanks, Tina. Absolutely. Everyone, don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we will be right back.